his long run into the light. The moment that made him famous. Henry Wanyuka drags his malaria-ridden guide across the finishing line to win the 5,000 meters at the Sydney Paralympics. Three seconds off the previous world record. That was the day he decided to start giving back. Today, Henry is involved in various projects in his home, Kikuju, close to the capital of Kenya, Nairobi. The story of the blind marathon runner is well known both here and in other parts of the world. Yet, he has always stayed very humble, using every cent he earns towards his projects. And I always say that I lost my sight, but I never lost my vision. So, through the sports for the Paralympics, I've been able to meet people of different kind. I've been able to socialize from, uh, with the different people uh, through sports. I've been able to, I believe I've been able to change the, the world. I have been able to motivate thousands of, the, of the, young one, the young people to show them the right, the right direction. So, through sports, I've been able to change the nature. To help his countrymen, he started the Henry Wanyuka Foundation. With the support of the Christoffel Mission for the Blind, he has allowed many Kenyans to have free cataract surgery. For those who have completely lost their sight, Henry serves as a role model. After he had turned blind overnight, Henry was accepted as a trainee at the Macaus Technical Institute for the Blind, where the Christoffel Mission has established a program to help visually impaired people learn the profession and regain hope. These days, Henry teaches them how to knit and make their own living, providing a job and a living made by Henry Wanyuka. To the government or the society that we need opportunities and we need we don't need any more sympathies. Hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. A cow signifies food and education. With the sale of milk in the slums of Kanjeru, many parents can afford to school their children. Henry bought 45 cows, distributing most of them among families in need. The remainder were given to the Goodwill community, a preschool near the slums, paying for teachers and buying school books. Whenever a calf is born, it is passed on to help others. <laughs> Henry always has plenty to do. Hello. And he has a dream. We are capable and we can do anything, both in sport and everything. And my dream is that to start a, a camp uh, whereby I can be able to have a camp for the people with the disability in all over the world, they can come on high attitude, they can treat there. And I'm happy that through the foundation, we have been able to be given a small piece of land by a friend who came to realize what we want to do. So now we are looking even for sponsorship so that we can have buildings and we can be able to now to accommodate people with disability to come and learn in that, in that uh, camp. So it will be a, a unique camp for the people with disability, which has never happened uh, in the world. So we want to have our own camp whereby we can accommodate all over, people from all over the world. It has been our big dream. His main priority is to help kids, always prepared to provide milk and share bread. 
But above all, it is his story that catches one's attention. A story of finding his vocation, and with it, self-confidence. The time I lost my sight, it was like end of myself. But through the marathon, I've been able to, it gave me more power, more courage to face the world. So if you can do something like the marathon, you feel that I cannot do anything in the world. Henry wants to keep on running and spreading his message for at least 20 more years. But not alone. His best friend and guide, Joseph Kibuna, is always at his side. When the people ask me whether, where, what I do all this, because like me, I don't compete for myself. We compete like, uh, we compete for, for with Henry like uh, friendship and uh, partnership. So when I, I see someone is benefiting on my run, I feel very, very happy. I feel like continuing every day. That is the, they give me morale for me to call, to go, to keep on. Because when I see someone is like, uh, like uh, the project we do for the racing fans, for the people to be operated, they give me more courage to face the marathon and to keep going. In Beijing, Henry could not put his best foot forward. A car accident beforehand led to a serious injury, which threw him off track for some time. But Henry never ever gives up. His story is one of the most impressive in the world and will continue to inspire many people around the globe.